But listen, when you get older, right? Mm-hmm. You gotta be careful. Don't. The woman you choose, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, you gotta be careful with the girls you choose. Okay. You promise? Make sure you don't choose no evil girls, okay? Okay. You you not even paying attention to what I'm saying. You know what I what did I say just now? Um just be careful with your pick oops girls. Do you have a driver's license on you? Is this your wallet? It doesn't check. <laughs> it tagged you. Can you walk me through what happened? Can I look at your wallet so I know your name? My name is Kendra. Kendra. Can I still get your ID out of your wallet? Is that okay? Or do you want to get it for me? Yes or no? Kendra, how old are you? You're 22. Okay, can you walk me through what happened today? Okay. He drank too much. He drank too much? Yeah. Where were you guys at? Okay. Okay, are you here on vacation? No. Are you guys local to here? Yeah. Have you been dating? Yes. Okay. Um, so where were you before you came to the 7-Eleven? You were in St. Pete, like down here. What happened? What happened once you guys got in the parking lot? I didn't put the trash. You could actually find that put the trash in the back. Okay. And I don't know if y'all can hear what she's saying, but like basically, she's accusing her boyfriend of um, attacking her. And then she said that he had too much to drink. Now, given the situation that I believe they got pulled over, uh, she's implicating that he was drinking and driving, which is this is that's kind of foul. But at the same time, if he attacked her, then you know what? Anything goes. Okay, I'm not gonna be out here victim shaming. Even though I read the title from the video before watching it, I just want to see how everything plays out. Yeah, I'm mad that you put the trash in the back. What was he mad about? He So you can see that she's trying to look for marks and injuries, but there just isn't any to show. And on top of trying to frame him for domestic battery, she's also implicating him in drunk driving. She said that he drank too much and he was the driver of the car. Now, if he really did drive drunk, you know very well my stance on that. He should be taken to jail immediately. I guess we'll find out. Hey, hold on. Let me add something to this too, bro. If you drink and drive, man, be be careful with drinking and driving, dog. Like, I'm not going to lie. When I was younger, you know, I'd go to the club, I'd drink. You know, I'll make it home, and then in the next morning, I'll be like, damn, that's crazy. Like, I really made it home. But you know, in hindsight, you know how stupid that was? You know how stupid that was? Now, I'm thankful 
one, I made it home. I'm thankful too that I ain't get caught and I ain't, I don't have no DUIs on my name. But at the same time, bro, that was selfish. So I just want you to, I, I want to let you know that if you drink and drive, you selfish. You selfish. Okay. So he, how did he throw all of, all of like the socks and everything? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Are you bleeding anywhere? I don't even know. No. Okay. Can you grab your wallet for me and get your driver's license out? Who <laughs> are Her arm hurt. How long have you guys been together? She said, she said her arm hurt. Hey, listen, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen now. Um, white folks, I'm I'm asking all the white folks. Cause I got white friends. You know what I'm saying? I have white associates and white friends. And I know that y'all be bruising easily. You feel me? Y'all be bruising easily. If I do this to, to one of my white homeboys arm. I'ma see it. I'ma see it. I'ma see my fingerprints. Right or wrong, unless you got a tan. You know what I'm saying? Unless you got a tan. I don't know if I'll be able to see it that. But it comes up pink. Let me let me tell let me know if I'm wrong. It comes out pink. She talking about her arm hurt. I don't see nothing. I don't see no pink nothing. He grabbed my arm, my arm hurt. I don't see no pink fingerprints. Let me stop. I ain't see us. I ain't see us. I ain't see us. Let me. Let me just. Let me yeah. Okay. The cop don't sound like she believes. You have his driver's license in here too. No, you're not sure. Okay. Alrighty. There's no like weapons or anything in the car. Not that you know of. Okay. I want to hear his side of the story, though. Minute. Okay. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Thank you. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. I'm ready to hear his side of the story. Come on, officer. Anything else that you can tell me? How long did it go on for? What were we driving? It's not here. He can tell me. Okay. She's adding sh while we was driving. He telling me that he can kill me. Alrighty, give me just a second, okay? The cop don't sound convinced. You just leave the store open for me. If that's okay, one of my partners with him, so he's not gonna come back, okay? I just don't want people looking at me. That's fair. Is this your clothes? That's his shirt. That's his shirt. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna. All right, we heard the woman's side of the story. Now let's hear the man's side. And let me know in the comment section, without any further information, with just what you heard so far from the lady, do you believe that she's telling the truth? If she had some marks to corroborate her story, I think we would have a different outcome. But clearly, there are no visible marks. Okay. So I'm coming back this way, and she's like, 
Oh, she pushed him in the face twice. So basically, if y'all can't hear, I don't know if y'all heard because it's, it's a lot of noise. So he's saying that um, they got into an altercation, verbal altercation, and it got to the point where he's like, yo, you know what? I'm taking you home. So she gets upset. She goes on a tirade, and she take, gets sauce, and she threw the sauce on him. So he, he was like, all right, got some sauce, threw some sauce back on her, right? And... The argument kept on going, so he started ignoring her, and she punched him in the face twice. He had description; he knew exactly where it happened. And then the cop was, and then oh, he said like she tried to reach over him and all, this, that, and the third, and scratched him. So he's like, "Yo, I'm holding her back like this while I'm driving. I'm swerving." So the cop is like, "Well, how come it's your left arm that got the scratch?" She tried to, she tried to tie him up. She didn't do that to the girl now. She ain't do that to the girl. She tried, she tried to trip my boy up with his words. You know what I'm saying? Try to hit his ass with some of that word gymnastics. And it, he was like, what are you talking about? He turned this way and he showed her like, yo, my right arm is the one that got messed up. And she's like, oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. She ain't do all that with shorty. Because she's pushing me. She's pushing me at this point. So what do you think I'm supposed to do? I don't want to crash. And she's saying while I'm telling her, she's like, oh, kill me already. Kill me already. Oh. I'm like, okay, at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna drive. Like, pull us as soon as I can pull up. So I see this right here. She presses me again, and I stop right in the middle. I'm like, bro, just get out of my car. Like, you know what I'm saying? Please, I start asking for help. I go inside and ask that dude. I said, look, I don't want to have a happy because I'm telling you, I'm sure. I'm like, look, I don't want to come. Just call the police or something. Because she won't get out of my car. She's hitting me. I don't want any problems. Like, I just want to, like, out of my car. And whatever. And look, officer, I wouldn't say that. I did have uh, a couple drinks before I left with you, but I'm not buzzed. If you want to do a drunk mile or anything, I'm not intoxicated or anything. I just want to have to do it. Why are you admitting that, boy? Okay. Why you do that? Alrighty. This man just admitted that he, he had a couple drinks before he left. And... Nobody asked him. Nobody asked him. So he just incriminated himself. But at the same time, you know, like I said, drinking and driving is whack. Okay? Okay. So far, in my opinion, he's appearing genuine. It doesn't seem like he's lying. And he did come forward about the alcohol. He said he had a couple of drinks. We all know how that goes. If sometimes they had a couple of drinks, maybe it's six, right? So that's a whole other story, but he doesn't look impaired in my opinion. And yeah, as for the story, it kind of makes sense. He was driving. She turned into a psycho Karen. She started attacking <laughs> him. He put his arm out to protect himself, and that's how he got the injury. Let's see what happens next. I do have to ask you a couple more direct questions, okay? But before I can do that, I've got to redo this part because they're... The questions are more direct, so they, when you answer them, they could be more incriminating based on what she said versus what you said, that kind of thing. Okay? Okay, I, I just got to read from this first, and then you can tell me that if that's what you choose, okay? Okay. 
have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one we'll Time out. Wasn't she supposed to ask him this before she started asking him all these questions? Come on. Right? Before she started asking him questions, she should have asked him, she should have read him his Miranda rights. Um, Police, in the comment section, please let me know. We'll be appointed to represent you. <laughs> he said, I don't want to go. sleep don't sleep my boy got the, 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 the scars to prove that she was assaulting him yo it's crazy like hearing his side of the story and then thinking about how she was acting when the video first started you gotta be careful out here man hey you get off the playstation come here come sit down here in the chair you need to watch this video bring come here bring the chair and be quiet and watch this video where the hell you where you on? Come sit on the chair and watch the video. Her body, did you put your arm? I 
I guess you could say like it was like the chop chop or the chest. Okay. Like I kind of just was like, you know. Okay. Like it wasn't like a direct thing. I don't know where it was, but I did not grab her. I did not physically grab her anywhere. Mm -hmm. I didn't touch her. I didn't scratch her. I didn't punch her in the face nowhere. Nothing. Okay. I, I did not put my hands on. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. My dad is. Bro, stop, stop with all that. They don't care if your pops is a cop. Okay. Once you guys were in the parking lot, did you have any more physical altercations? Okay. I, t I was yelling at her, saying, like, for please, she's been on my car. She starts screaming. Mm -hmm. You see how everybody looking at me? I'm crazy. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, please get out of my car. Like, I'm trying to stand the car a little bit. I'm like, go down and down. Like, please get out of the car. She's in the car. I'm going to go home. 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 i am Alright, just like I just talked to you, I'm gonna go talk to her again. So, alright. That's crazy. Kendall, man. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna open the door again, okay? Alrighty. Alright, so I went back, I talked to him, and I got his side of the story too. I gotta ask you some more questions, okay? But for me to do that, I've gotta read from the card. I read from the card to talk to him, and I've gotta read from the card to talk to you so I can ask more specific questions, okay? Come here, my boy. Come here. Come here. Let's have a conversation. Sit up on a chair. Let's have a conversation. So. You know, you're not, you're not of dating age yet, right? You know what dating is? Mm -hmm. What is dating? Um, making a video. No, but what is dating? Um, you know, you don't know what dating is. That's good. That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad you don't know what dating is yet. But listen, when you get older, right? Mm -hmm. You gotta be careful. Okay. The woman you choose, okay? Okay, you gotta be careful with the girls you choose. Okay. You promise? Make sure you don't choose no evil girls, okay? Okay. You you not even paying attention to what I'm saying. You know what I what did I say just now? Um just be careful with the girls. Oops, girls. Alright, right, right, let me finish my video. Alright, y'all. So that's the video today, man. I just I read the title of that and I just had to watch it. Um I know it's not the normal kind of videos I do, but just be careful out here, man. You know, men and women, dog. Be careful you women um you don't choose a man that's gonna abuse you. And men, be careful. You don't chose a woman that's going to abuse you and call the police and try to send you down the road. Because guess what? When the police comes and they get the call over the radio that a woman was abused, assaulted, the R word, you are guilty until proven innocent. Okay? You are guilty. Until proven innocent. So protect yourself, man. <gasps> Say bye. Did you fart? No. Yes, you did. I heard it. All right, man. Come say bye. Bye. They can't see you. You got to come in the camera. Bye. Bye. No, you messing my video up. Come on. Say bye. Bye. You bye.